my art room redo is done yay <laughs> and my computer is out of the hospital so I can get back to uh, doing some real videos again I think what I'm gonna do is do an art room tour or actually probably an art room series and um, this time show some more uh, detailed storage and organization ideas. Usually I just kind of run through it and give you a general idea of where I put stuff, but I thought I would just break it up into different segments to show you some details to maybe give you some more ideas. Let me give you a quick overview and the reason for that is so that you can leave uh, suggestions in the comments for storage areas that you would like to see in more detail or if I don't show something and you want to know how I store such and such just ask let's do that way okay okay this is where you walk into the room from the hallway and to the left I finally have a place a designated space to keep my Cricut machine out and usable that little cart is on wheels so I can just pull it forward and I'll have plenty of room for my Cricut sheet thing to slide in. I'm really excited about that and I'm probably just going to die cut everything that will stand still because it's just rare that I get to pull it out. <laughs> um, same thing for my sewing machine. It's easy to access. This little cabinet is great. It was my grandmother's but it has these little drawers on each end that hold all the you know thread and scissors and pins and stuff but they pull out this way so I can't block either side of it. I have to keep, you know, space on either side of it. So this little area worked just fine. Over here is this little, one of those little cheesy wire shelves. And this is all of my uh, painted papers and papers to be painted. You know, um, scrap papers and things I've collected and thought, oh, now that would make a good painted something. <laughs> That's where I keep it. And this is drop paper um, to line my work area and wax paper, parchment paper to put between pages so they don't stick, that type of thing. There's really nothing significant in there. And you'll see several empty containers kind of stashed here and there. I am a big believer in putting empty containers around the room so that you can throw stuff in them. I am not good at putting stuff back where it belongs when I'm through working with it. You know, I'm, I'm just, I just don't do it. I make a pile and then do it later. It's like a to be filed section. Yeah, that's what it is. So if you give yourself several of those, then you can make, you have this little neat contained area for your clutter to accumulate and then you know when it gets full and starts overflowing then you go through and you put it all where it belongs so that's what those are all about this is a cheesy little cardboard box that's just holding some supplies and my new shelf this first one has some uh, some more blank drop papers and different uh, card stocks down there. All of my colored plain card stock is right here. It's still in these pizza boxes. I did a video about that eons ago. I'm still using those pizza boxes. My um, journal's in progress. Ones that I'm actually working in and using. And tools up here. And then at the top, these are paper scraps. That's scraps of scrapbook paper, you know, cut pieces, all of that. And then these are the tea tiny scraps of scrapbook paper and painted papers. They accumulate in there kind of quickly. And moving down, we have, um, okay, down here are blank journals. And those are paint chips, paint samples, paper napkins, and scrapbook paper. I'm not through with my labeling. I still have a few more labels to do, but um, other than that, I'm done. Let's see. 
Above that, this is some junk journal stuff, ephemera and, and you know, recycled papers. These are maps. These are envelopes and bags in there. These are kind of a catch-all thing. These are Q-tip boxes. Y'all, if you buy Q-tips in the big thing, they have these plastic deals. They're just great storage. And they'll hook on there with binder clips. <laughs> Tons of these. I love them. Okay. Um, these are... This is mostly junk journal uh, ephemera type stuff. You know, they're very labeled and organized. I, I love love this very much. Let's see. Moving over to the next shelf. Sorry about the, the camera. I could ram, I mean, you know, <laughs> the best I can do. These down on the bottom are books, and these are too. I've got two shelves of books that I pull from for junk journals. These are books that I can either cannibalize or I can alter. Um, you know, they're just, they're there for that purpose. That coffee can with the um, pit pens in it, those are dried up, actually. <laughs> and I've already replaced them, but I pulled them out of my marker stash and I couldn't throw them away. They were just so pretty. So I think I'm going to collect enough to go around the outside of that can and glue them on <laughs> and decorate the can with them. You know, like you did in grade school where you, you put the, the things around the juice can. Yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> This bag right here is literally a bag of rocks, and its sole purpose is to act as a counterweight for my camera when I use the extension arm on my tripod. You know, if you pull the arm way out, your camera will make the tripod tip over. I hang that on the other end of the extension arm to balance it out. That's all that is. This is uncategorized ephemera. Stuff that really doesn't belong in those categories or any other, but I still like it and I want to keep it. I put it in there, and it's not it's not divided up into anything. It's just it's kind of arranged where I can see it and flip through it, and that's what I want. If I collect enough of one thing that it makes its own category, <laughs> then I give it a label and put it someplace else. <laughs> Um, these are the notepads that I use for junk journals, post-it notes and notepads. These little things, these are what crayons are in. Like if you buy the box of 64 crayons, there's several of these inside that box where the crayons, um, you know, sit in and, and they're tiered, but these are all the same size. It's the box that's tiered. So I use those for little things, little little notepads and uh, little, I have some little baby envelopes in some of them. They're great. Everyone needs to do that. Uh, washi tapes are right there. And that banner is my um, craft booth banner that I just stuck there simply because I could. And over here, uh, twine and string and, and baker's twine and stuff is in there. And back there, this is really, really old um, ephemera, vintage papers that uh, I just kind of use. They're kind of special. I like them. <laughs> Put it that way. This box is, okay, we got paper doilies back there, and the rest of this stuff is what I call, it's kind of scrapbooky type stuff, and that just means, you know, it's not recycled ephemera type stuff, it's stuff that was bought or given, but, you know, like store-bought stuff, not stuff that I found in the dumpster. <laughs> That's all in a different box. <laughs> Um, this is Claire Envelopes and Templates, just what it says, and I just, I, I need to fix this. Um, I redid it, it was in a different location, and 
yeah, it needs some different folders and things, but for now, it's fine. I have tons of these clear envelopes, and they're separated by size. So I have a folder for each size, and then I have folders for, there's book binding instructions, beading instructions, tips and techniques, and then in the front, there are die cuts and templates, things to cut out and cut around. These are different envelope templates and boxes and bags and cards and tags. And then on the bottom shelf, I have, uh, this is ABCs. Those are my alphabet letters. And the sticker sheets for alphabet letters are in here. These are my paper tubes. This is some of them. I have a whole big thing of them downstairs. And this is work in progress down here. Um, my journals finally have a spot where they can live out in the open. So this is the majority of my finished journals and I'm very happy that they can finally be out of their dark, lonely hiding place. This is the only unfinished corner of the room. I've got three cardboard boxes like that with beads in it. It's not working for me anymore. So um, I've got to come up with another solution for storing beads. And until I do, this is just going to stay like it is. It's, it's out of the way. It's not too bad. So, yeah, don't look at that. This is my wall of iris carts. And... I'll do like a whole dedicated video tour of the carts. I get asked about them every time I show them. And you you know, you want to know what's in them? Of course, I would too. <laughs> They're just intriguing. So we will go through the carts one by one in excruciating detail in another video, I promise. Um, there's little doodads and my tube paints are on the wall back here. I don't have a lot of stuff hung on the wall in this room because it is still unfinished. I need some more shelving units for that wall where the sewing machine is. And until I get the shelving situated, I don't want to poke a bunch of holes in the wall because, you know, I'm going to be moving stuff around. So I'm trying not to to uh, hang too much stuff on the wall at this point. But this is good. This is going to stay just like it is. Um, I've got little hardware things over here, and then those are my buttons. Um, they're in jars by color, and a wedding dress in a jar or two, and an anatomically correct bunny that I have covered so we can remain <laughs> PG. 13 <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, these are little findings, little brads and eyelets and binder rings and things like that. This corner is uh, large sheets of drop paper. Sometimes when I do major painted paper I will spread those out on the floor so I can put papers out to dry and those I need for some book binding and other stuff. These are totally empty. I have a whole thing of totally empty pockets. What's up with that? Right? And these are these are half, well, they're a little more than half full. I do have duct tape in there. This is the closet. And it is, um, yeah, the closet irritates me because stuff is stacked. And if I have to get to something on the bottom, or God forbid, that bin back there in the corner, I would just get so mad. <laughs> it just makes me so mad to have to unstack all the boxes. This is what I need more shelves for so that I can rearrange this and, and make it easier to access, if nothing else. But, you know, other than that, the closet's okay. It's got stuff that I... Some stuff, like, you know, that kind of thing I rarely need to get to. These I get to pretty much daily. We'll go through the binders. And this other stuff, again, is just, you know, I don't need to access it too often. My um, yarn for crochet and stuff is down here. And I do that in spurts. You know, sometime I'll just go on a crochet bender, but then I won't touch it for months. So, 
that's that. Uh, this, this is my uh, cardboard shelving unit that I built because I need storage space and I have none. <laughs> and I have no money to buy it. <laughs> so it's okay. It just kind of has odds and ends and things that don't have any other place to go. And then it's got some empty space too. So that's all right. Um, got little things going there because that's where it fit. And then this is all my paint, like acrylic paint and mediums and stuff. And I've got paint in two or three places because I just want a room to put all of it in one place. Brushes and things. And then this little thing right here. This is things like um, cutting mats and rulers and um, um, slicers, you know, that kind of thing. And then this is mainly uh, tools, you know, scissors and tools. Okay. So, we're going to swing around. I'll do it slowly. Okay, here we go. Now, if there's anything... Oh, the middle table. I forgot. <laughs> My little work surface. <laughs> and I mean little. It's, it's literally a closet shelf from a previous house we lived in once upon a time. And I don't know why we keep moving it with us, but we do. I'm kind of glad because it worked out to be kind of a make-do um, work surface in here. It's just sitting on top of two iris carts that have, you know, stuff in them. And it um, just gives me a little workspace right here. And it's also where I can film. I put my camera right there and aim it down here. And it's also working out really well as a light table situation. I'll have to show you that in another video. So, You've got your overview, and we'll have some details coming up. So if there's anything you see or saw that you want to see in greater detail, or if you have any questions about how anything is stored or stashed or <laughs> displayed or whatever, leave it in the comments, and then that is what I will focus on over the next few days. Okay? So, till then... The end.